What's up, everyone? It's TV, and today we're going to be showing you how to get this free kit by beating this limited time Halloween event. On top of that, you'll get this badge called the Crypt's Coven, and it says right here, infiltrate the secrets of Crypt's Coven for the 2023 Halloween event. Before we get into this, please do be a solid. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Dude, we're so close to 750,000 subscribers. By the way, I am sick. Yeah, I, I kind of I kind of caught a cold. So if I sound a little goofy right now, I'm sorry. Don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me in the comments. All right, here is the update. It is the Crypt's Coven. The Crypt is back with a few new challenges. Defeat Crypt's Coven to unlock Eldrick, the newest kit. The event ends in one week, so you have to go quick. The party leader is required to have a Halloween event key in order to be able to challenge the Crypt's Coven. Keys regenerate every hour and you can hold a maximum of four keys. Only the party's leader's keys will be used and Q keys can be regenerated while offline. Eldrick the Warlock, you could drain HP from enemies or sacrifice your health to heal allies. This kit is available for free by beating the Coven. If you want to look at what the kit looks like, it is Eldrick. This is what he looks like. I do have him already. I can show you what he does, but first let's go and actually get him. Oh, you could actually just straight up purchase it too. That's actually pretty cool. But no, we're not going to purchase it. No, we're going to earn it because this whole video is all about, you know, doing the event. All right, let's go and queue up. Max is for... Oh, we'll we ditch Jay-Z. <laughs> right, I'm sorry, Jay-Z. I'm sorry, man. Whoa, I just fell in the void. Whoa. How did I die? I just fell in the void. <laughs> what? I straight up... Oh. How? What? Oh, you... oh. I'm spectating now. It says you still explorers. I'm also dead. Ah. You're oh. dead too? Oh, we got to go back. Yeah. All right, here we go again. Dude, if I fall through again, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, we're good. We're good. We loaded. We loaded. All right, so traveling to Graveyard. All right, so what you need to do here is you're going to see a sequence of colors, right? So you'll see like skeleton with like the different uh, color candles. And what I would recommend is take a screenshot of that or write it down somewhere, or do something with it because you're going to need to remember that. Um, it's basically your password. So they show you like a little moment. Take a screenshot of that, ideally. After you collect all the candles, you're going to want to match that up so that it lines up exactly the way you had it on that screen. So you're just going to go around. You need to collect eight candles. They're scattered throughout the world. They're not hard to find. There's more than you need, technically. So if you, you know, there's just like, I think there's probably like 10 or more. Go collect those and then come back as soon as you have eight. And then you're going to match the colors of the candles in the same exact placement as you saw earlier. Okay, so this is going to be white. Man, can you mention people that are colorblind? I'm so sorry if you're colorblind. <laughs> they do this sometimes. This one is... Bloop. How many more do we need? We uh, got them all. Oh, nice. And then this one's going to be green. This one is orange. This one is... Is this the right blue? Oh, I, like did the wrong one. I did the wrong one. I did the wrong blue on that one. Mm -hmm. This one. This one's okay. like a light blue. There we go. And then pink will be yellow. Yellow. And then this one is red. Should be good. Yeah, I think we got orange, it. Orange, green. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Rain. Let's go. <laughs> Please, oh, sir. Man, I don't got free cam in this mode. Yeah, it makes, yeah. Easy. Easy GG's. L, L, L. Wait, who just jumped in yeah. first? I did. There's a chair. Yeah, no, I'm the last. <laughs> there's I'm a chair. Last. All right, here you're going to see there's basically invisible islands you need to travel over. So what we're going to do is you're going to come over here. You're going to jump on these. Uh, ideally, just wait for the uh, islands to become visible and then jump on them. This one is a little challenging. So you can see the number of these little ghost things. Um, you're going to want to make sure you um, have the right number of people on each side. So if there's like one ghost on the left, make sure you have the right number of people on each side to open that gate. <laughs> Here, you just have to avoid the rolling balls. Uh, this is pretty easy. Or boulders. They're kind of just like rolling stones. And then up here, you just climb up. And then now you got the boss. There are two stages to the boss. First one is the typical crypt boss. It's just like the last year's event. You got to take care of him. But the thing is, is after you beat him, you're going to have to beat a second boss. The crypt guy is going to spawn and you just want to use your bow and keep hitting him as much as possible. Uh, keep moving. If you're not healing, it's because you're not hitting him. So make sure you're hitting him with your bow or else you're not going to heal. Keep an eye out for the icons on the screen that appear next to him. So you want to keep an eye on the, the crypt at all times. And then you're going to have to like stand on the right island or else you're going to take damage from this uh, gas on the ground. So just like you saw me just now, 
I was taking a lot of damage. So just keep moving so you don't get hit by these like explosions, by these skeletons. Avoid this wall to the right here too, but don't forget to go to the right island. If in doubt, just keep an eye on like where everyone else is going. But you want to keep shooting him and um, you, you want to avoid the walls. It's kind of hard, man. When you're first doing this, like it's easy for me right now because I've done it so many times. But like the first time I played this, um, if you need like a slower tutorial on this, um, definitely check out my crypt event tutorial from last year. But like it's pretty fast paced. OK, there's constantly stuff going on. You need to avoid these walls. You need to avoid like getting hit by the skeletons. If for some reason he oh, right here, you got to see there's four ghosts just like the bridge. You need to make sure there's four of you on this or else you're going to oh, die. Right. So don't just go on any island. Go on the correct island. This green gas is going to spawn here and it's going to cause some crazy damage to you if you go into it. Um, but yeah, you just need to keep hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. Make sure everyone's hitting them. And then cool. the next boss is going to spawn and you just need to keep hitting them over and over and over. He's going to do a couple of things. One is he's going to start spawning these like explosions on the ground like that. You see the you need to avoid those like wherever he's casting. Easy. He kind of gives you a warning it, with going. like this red circle of where those explosions are going to occur. Also, he can still target you with his wand and cause some heavy damage. Now, when the uh, floor does turn red, you're going to want to run to this um, little orange island because otherwise you're going to die. So you have to run to this. It's kind of a shield. You don't get like heavy damage. But at this point, after the shields are gone and the floor is obviously normal again, just keep hitting this guy over and over and over. Depending on how much damage you're doing, you might only get two of those. We got, I think we got two of them on here. But also avoid the skeletons. They're going to do heavy damage. Dude, I, we got really low a couple times on this. But like I said, just keep attacking them. You're going to start healing over time. So see, here's your heals. So he starts healing you as long as you're doing damage. And he's going to do this uh, red thing again. Head over to the little middle island. Um, you're going to take a little bit of damage on the way over. Just get to it before the time's up. Oh, my God. Yep. Okay. And if, if little skeletons are too close to you, just like hit them right but yeah kill kill this boss as fast as you can all right after you kill this boss you're going to get the badge right here and we got it that's how you get the badge <laughs> look at these noobs on the it floor cool. skeletons are dead let's go let's go yes, yes. geez guys eldrick is dead and we got the kit it says no one has the badge yet but not possible. <laughs> Everyone equip the kit. Oh, we're the only people with it. We there's only four people that have it. We're the yeah. first people that did it. Oh my only gosh, dude! Won. Drain health from enemies or sacrifice your health to heal allies. So I'm guessing if you're taking damage by someone else, you can give them your health. Well, yeah, let's go to custom and try it a little bit. All right, so I can drain them of HP. Oh, that's cool. Oh, dude, that actually is crazy. Good damage. Oh, oh, wait, I have two now. So I think it's the amount of kills I have is the number that shows. OK, the so it's a number of kills, but like, is that stack? Kills with the staff. It's a standoff. That's what yeah, I'm doing. Get, get I'm doing. You're not no, taking any I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Yeah, yeah die. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, need yeah. To I don't know. I think the kid's kind of confusing, dude. I mm -hmm. think it might be super powerful. I just think it's a little confusing. I can't link Wait, this for this distance. The damage stacks the more. Does it stack? Uh, See how much damage you're going to do. The higher the number. 13, 12, 13, 13, 14, what? 15, 16, what? 17, 18. What? 18. 18. Oh my God. Based on the number of kills you have? Uh, no. I okay, you're back. Why do I have 18, six? 20. I said 20 to someone. Oh, because I, I have six. Arama. This is really, really powerful. If you know what you're doing, I think oh, I'm dude. dominating right oh, now. Oh, you could spawn camp them with this kid. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if we knew how to use why, why this me? properly. Oh my gosh. The damage right now. How much damage are you doing? I'm I just did 38 damage to zombie. No, dude. 32, 33, 34 to you. Oh my no. god. No. Leave me alone. 35. So automatically, it looks like it automatically attacks. And so when you see the red, you know that you're doing... Oh, I, I, dude, we're getting wiped right now. I believe right the now. kills back onto your team. <laughs> Is that what the link I, thing is? I haven't killed many people. I already have 22. I think it's actually pretty crazy now that you know that it stacks and causes more damage. All right, let's grab these. Let's just go mid, get eight, and go mid. I'm out of reach. They're running okay, come away. back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, there, we okay. got mid over here. Come back over here. At first, they do way more damage than you do. Oh, man. They're... Okay, we got him, we you got can't, him. Over here, over here. Come back in, come back mid, come back mid. Coming, focus, coming. Focus, focus. Okay. You can't link through blocks. 
Okay, we got that guy. Behind us, behind us. I'm getting... I, I think I linked on accident and I died. Actually, you know what? I'll take out it. So who, who, what bed should we take? There's four on green. All right, let's get this guy that's coming across the bridge. Okay. Go back. Uh, don't focus that guy. Just kind of get this guy over here. He's farming. Somebody's low over there. Over here, over here. Got him, got him. He had one M on him. Bed, bed, bed. Go back, go back, go back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you got him. You got... Oh, you were doing Aww. so much damage to him. You got him? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Green's pretty low now, so we can fit. We can clean up green if we want, but let's go. Yeah, let's go red. <laughs> you can't steal each You stole okay. my kill. That's what I do, man. Take what's mine. Coming for you? And I hit one. You should probably uh, get one. I got one. I got one green. Forty seconds. Nice <laughs> job. Nice job. Easy. Wow, did you did you just say easy? Listen, yeah, sir, yeah. it was it clearly took some kind of level of effort. Let's be honest. That <laughs> guy's got diamond armor. That. Oh, they're bad. Yeah, I can I could go get it if you want. I got bad. Dude, nice. I was gonna get a man. <laughs> <laughs> Who's taking my kills over here? Uh, I got the diamond armor. You seen it? Oh yeah. man. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> GG's. At least we kind of know how this kit works. It's kind of high difficulty in my opinion. Like it's not so. Good. It's good. Like the other person is using the same kit, but not good if they got good swords. I don't know. I think there's a way to combo it. Well, it's good. I, I like it. I like it. Would you use it though? Be like, be Probably real. Not. Probably yeah. So not. it's not good. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah. It is a good idea, but. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of kits that were good ideas, but just aren't as powerful. I mean, it was kind of OP, though. It was kind of yeah, OP. It can I mean, it was 30-something then... damage per shot, but you have to, like, spawn camp them. So, you exactly. know what you could do is, like, 30v30s would probably be really powerful if you're, like, spawn camping, like, um, AFKs or something. True. You can get those yeah. high stacks. Or even just solos, because you can only target one person at the same time. So, yeah, solos would be good. It's just a little confusing of whether or not you're healing or you're absorbing damage and such. Like yeah, it's just yeah, a little, exactly. it gets a little uh hectic. But yeah, mm -hmm. anyway. Decent, 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 I guess. Free kit. Yeah. You can't complain. Anyway, that's going to be it. I hope this helped a little bit. Obviously, the crypt event is not the easiest. But it was actually pretty decent, especially if you have a good group together. And if you participated in the last event last year, obviously, you're going to be able to figure it out pretty quickly as well. Let me know if you did get this kit. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. It's kind of it's kind of wacky in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next vid. Peace.